Today we have an iPhone 14 Pro Max that took a dive into a swimming pool and now the ear speaker isn't working. When we cover the lower speaker, there's no sound from the ear speaker at all. To compare, let's check another iPhone 14 Pro Max. Even when we cover the lower speaker, the ear speaker still produces sound. So the first step is to verify if the ear speaker on our water damaged phone is working. You can see signs of water damage on the screen and other parts of the phone. So the first step is to verify if the ear speaker on our water damaged phone is working. We'll use a multimeter in continuity mode to check the two contact points. If we hear a beep, that means the ear speaker is fine. Next, we'll inspect the flex cable that connects the ear speaker to the motherboard. Luckily, the cable looks intact. Now, let's test the connector on the motherboard itself. Using diode mode on the multimeter, we check the lines related to the ear speaker and, uh-oh, there are anomalies. This means the issue is within the motherboard. According to the schematics, the circuit controlling the ear speaker is hiding under this metal shield. Time to bring out our precision skills. We'll carefully cut through the metal shield with a rotary tool. This is a delicate process. One wrong move, and the device is toast. Ready to level up your repair skills? At Cell Phone Repair Academy, we've trained professionals to master data extraction, reverse engineering, and smartphone repair, and now it's your turn. Whether you're starting fresh or expanding your expertise, our training will help you become a certified expert. Visit CellPhoneRepairAcademy.com today to take the first step toward a high-demand career. Don't miss out. Your future in tech starts here. Once the shield is removed, we can clearly see water damage and corrosion, which is why the ear speaker isn't working. The corrosion has affected not only the audio IC, but also surrounding components. Our next step is to remove the rest of the metal shield using a surgical knife, then gently lift it with tweezers. We'll add heat at 380 Celsius to remove the corroded IC. Now we see the culprit. The circuit is covered in corrosion. All these components need replacing. But first, we'll prepare the motherboard by cleaning the area with alcohol and a brush. Then, we use a solder wick and heat gun to remove the old solder until the traces are flat. After removing the remaining corrosion with a tool, we blow away any debris with compressed air. Now we'll remove all the damaged capacitors and start transferring the necessary components from a donor motherboard. Since the donor is just for parts, we can use heat to remove the metal shield and transfer the components one by one. For the audio IC, we'll do a process called reballing, aligning a stencil with the IC, filling the holes with solder paste, and applying heat to form the solder ball. Once reballing is done, we align the IC on the motherboard and apply heat to secure it. After one final cleaning, We'll reinstall the metal shield to protect the circuit from any future impacts. A little flux and some micro soldering with our precision pencil and the shield is back in place. Now it's time to test the device. We place the motherboard back into the housing, install the speaker and power it on. Heading into the settings. Success. The repair is complete and the ear speaker is working perfectly again.